pharynx it is a fibromuscular tube lies in front of the vertebral column and behind the nose mouth and the larynx it extends from the base of the skull to the level of the thick cervical vertebra where esophagus starts pharynx subdivided into three parts number one nasopharynx number two oropharynx number three laryngopharynx this is the pharynx lies in front of the vertebral column and behind the nose, mouth, and larynx. The wall of the pharynx is formed by five layers. First is mucosa, second is submucosa, the third layer formed by pharyngobasilar fascia, which lies in the inner surface of the constrictors of the pharynx. The fourth layer is muscular layer, which is formed by inner longitudinal and the outer circular muscle fibers, which are forming three constrictors in addition to three longitudinal muscles, which are stylopharyngeus, palatopharyngeus, and the salpingopharyngeus muscles. The fifth layer, called the buccopharyngeal fascia, which lies on the outer surface of the constrictors of the pharynx. This is the three constrictors, superior, middle, and inferior. The pharynx subdivided into nasopharynx, which lies behind the nasal cavity, and they communicate with nasal cavity through the posterior nasal openings, and also communicate with tympanic cavity through the auditory tube or ostachian tube. Oropharynx lies behind the oral cavity and they communicate with it. Laryngopharynx lies behind the larynx and the continuous blue with the esophagus at the level of the sexy cervical vertebra. This is nasopharynx, communicate with the nasal cavity and through the stachian tube with tympanic cavity. Oropharynx, communicate with the oral cavity and laryngopharynx communicate with the larynx and continuous downwards as esophagus. The constrictors of the pharynx constrictors of the pharynx are enveloped by two sheaths of fasciae, pharyngobasilar fascia lining the inner surface of the constrictors, while the buccopharyngeal fascia covering the outer surface of the constrictors. The three constrictors are inserted posteriorly in a median raphe, extends from pharyngeal tubercle of the skull down to the esophagus. This is the constrictors superior, middle, and inferior, covered by buccopharyngeal fascia from outside and lined by pharyngobasilar fascia from inside. The superior constrictor of the pharynx takes the origin from pterygoid hymelus of the skull, pterygomandibular ligament, and the posterior end of mylohyoid line of the mandible. Middle constrictor arises from the stylohyoid ligament and the hyoid bone. Inferior constrictor arises from the side of thyroid and cricoid cartilages. The three constrictors are inserted in a median raphe posteriorly, which extends from pharyngeal tubercle of the skull down to the esophagus. This is the three constrictors, superior, middle, inferior, and the three are inserted posteriorly in a median raphe, extends from pharyngeal tubercle of the skull down to the esophagus. The gaps between constrictors of the pharynx. The first gap between the skull and the upper border of the superior constrictor and contains levator palati muscle and tensor palati muscles, one on each side of the auditory tube or stachian tube. The second gap at the upper border of the middle constrictor and contains the stylopharyngeus muscle and the glossopharyngeal nerve. The third gap at the upper border of the inferior constrictor contains internal laryngeal nerve 
and laryngeal branch of the superior thyroid artery. The fourth gap at the lower part of the inferior constrictor and contains the current laryngeal nerve and the laryngeal branch of inferior thyroid artery. This is the constrictors superior, middle, inferior. This is the first gap, second gap, third gap, and fourth gap. The blood supply, arterial supply, comes from ascending pharyngeal, ascending palatine, and branches from lingual, facial, and the maxillary arteries. Venous drainage of the pharynx passes into pharyngeal venous plexus, which drain into the internal jugular veins. Lymphatic drainage through retropharyngeal and the paratracheal lymph nodes to upper deep cervical lymph nodes. This is the lymphatics posterior to the pharynx retropharyngeal lymph nodes, and this is lymph nodes arranged around the carotid cheese forming upper and the lower deep cervical lymph nodes. Then the nerve supply of the pharynx supplied from pharyngeal plexus, which is formed on the middle constrictor by three roots. Motor root comes from the cranial part of the accessory nerve through vagus. The second is sensory root from glossopharyngeal nerve. The third is sympathetic root comes from superior cervical sympathetic ganglion. This is the nerves, different nerves come form pharyngeal plexus over the middle constrictor of the pharynx. Cervical part of the esophagus. The esophagus is a muscular tube also about 10 inches, 25 centimeter. It begins at the level of cricoid cartilage opposite the thick cervical vertebra, then descends in the neck to enter the thorax. Relation anteriorly, there is trachea and the recurrent laryngeal nerves. Posteriorly, prevertebral fascia covering the prevertebral muscles as longus coli and vertebral column. Laterally, the loops of thyroid gland and the carotid sheath. This is the cervical part of the esophagus, lies behind the trachea. And this is the vertebral column, prevertebral muscles. The blood supply and nerve supply for the cervical part of the esophagus. Arterial supply comes from inferior thyroid artery, the venous drainage directed to inferior thyroid vein. Lymphatic drainage to the deep cervical lymph nodes. The nerve supply from recurrent laryngeal nerves and from sympathetic trunks. This is uh, blood vessels directed to the esophagus or cervical part of the esophagus.